All right, enzymes, enzymes. We got uh, unzipping enzymes that unzip the uh, DNA strand, separating it right down the middle between the A's, T's, and G's, and C's. And then we got hook 'em up enzymes that are hooking up these new nucleotides to each side of the uh, of the original strand. And then we got proofreading enzymes that go back over and check it all out, make sure there were no boo-boos, no mistakes made in the uh, replication process, in the hook 'em up process in particular. And so I hope you uh, you know you tried to look up these uh, uh, enzyme names in your book. Did you? How many names were there? Three names? No, just two. Uh, one enzyme does both of these. And you can probably guess which one it is, which one is most similar. Well, hooking them up and proofreading, those that's the most similar. That's one enzyme, and the unzipping enzyme is something else. What's the name of the unzipping enzyme? It is the helicases. The helicase enzymes, or the helicases. The helicases are the unzipping enzymes. Helicases. Helicases. All right. Now, what about the hook them up and then uh, going back over it and proofreading? That is a different set of enzymes, a different uh, category of enzymes. Those are the polymerase enzymes, the polymerases. And so there are the helicases, there are the unzippers, and then the polymerases. Can you say that? It's not polymerase. I worked around people doing this stuff. I never did it myself, but I heard them pronounce it, so I do know how to pronounce it the polymerase enzymes. We're going to learn about the polymerases uh, <clears throat> later in connection with a CSI type technique. Actually it's not just used for CSI but that's one thing it's, it's used for, the polymerase enzymes. And so the helicases unzip and the polymerases do what? They're the hook em up enzymes. They first hook up the new nucleotides and then go over and proofread, the, proofread their work. Alright that's it on the enzymes.